Well, hello, Shoreline Church and friends. Uh, this, this, is your, uh, this is your Wednesday devotional for June 2nd, and uh, this is going to come from Proverbs 22, verses 1 through 16. We're going to spend two weeks in Proverbs 22 because it's just loaded with great wisdom. And so, three insights from this first portion of Proverbs chapter 22. Uh, insight number one, watch your step. Here's a warning, watch your step. This is what the, what the book of Proverbs says in verse 3 and following. The prudent see danger and take refuge, but the simple keep going and pay the penalty. And then down in verse 5, a similar theme. In the paths of the wicked are snares and pitfalls, but those who preserve their life will stay far from them. If you're just walking through a field and there's pit holes, you're going to twist an ankle if you don't see them, if you don't pay attention. But what Proverbs is saying is as you walk through life, let wisdom guide your steps. There are pitfalls, there are distractions, there are snares to trip us up. Watch your step, relationally, financially, spiritually. And be careful where you're going. So there's a warning from Proverbs. Watch your step. Slow down and see what's ahead of you and walk wisely. Insight number two. Invest in the next generation. Every generation needs to invest in the next generation. Verse six says this. Start children off on the way they should go. And even when they are old, they will not turn from it. Some people have taken that to mean if you raise a kid in the church, they're going to love Jesus forever. And then they get disappointed when sometimes it doesn't work out. That's not what this passage is saying. It's saying, get children going on the right path. And, and they've got a chance of following that path, of heading the right direction. It's not a guarantee. Remember, Proverbs isn't meant to be absolute rules. It's general guidelines of wisdom. But boy, invest in the next generation. Parents, aunts, uncles, grandparents. Pray for the next generation. Love the next generation. Tell them about your faith. Share the scriptures with them. Share what you're learning in Proverbs with the next generation. And as you do that, they have a great chance of walking in that wisdom in their own lives. And then lesson number three, learn to share. Sharing is incredibly important. Verse nine says this of Proverbs 22. The generous will themselves be blessed for they share their food with the poor. There is a blessing that comes with generosity. And we miss out on something when we hold everything to ourselves. It's, it's really true. I've learned this in my own life. When I, when earlier in my life, when I lived with real stinginess and kept everything for myself, I missed all kinds of blessings. So I want to challenge you to look for those who are poor, who are hurting, who are struggling, that you can help. Help through the church. Just help directly where you can. And let God bless you along the way. Well, I want to encourage you, this Sunday, we are starting a series called Big Prayers. We are digging into to John chapter 17, the longest prayer of Jesus recorded in the scripture, recorded anywhere, is in John 17. And we're starting a three-week series called Big Prayers. And this week, no need to register. Show up at 8.30 for indoor services or, or online services or in the, in the family worship venue. Show up at 10 o'clock for any of those options. Show up at 11.30 for the outdoor, in the courtyard, in your car, online, family worship venue outdoors. Don't register, just show up, invite a friend, and join us as we talk about big prayers. Lord, this is our prayer as we continue in our week, that we will talk to you, know you, love you, and walk in your wisdom. We pray this for your glory. Amen.